Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is your brother Rayyan Arab recording for the Daily Reminder. Alhamdulillah, Wallahu Akbar, Ramadan is going, the days are passing and Alhamdulillah. We ask Allah Azza wa to accept our fasting, we ask Him to accept our Qiyam al-Layl, we ask Him to accept our charity, we ask Him to accept us and to allow us to continue to do good until the last day of Ramadan and after Ramadan insha'Allah. One important thing that I've been witnessing lately is that people are unable to manage their anger. Now it's like they have a short temper or something or it's because they can't have their cigarette or their coffee so they just release their anger and become very furious at you and make you feel like it's the end of the world. Allahu Akbar. Now how can we solve this issue? We can solve this issue by knowing that when you do not control your anger in Ramadan, what happens? You are wounding your fast up. I'm not saying that it May it, I'm not saying that it's not accepted, it may be accepted, but you're wounding it up just like when you bring a man and you start smacking him around until he has bruises all over his face and you see the blood everywhere and all that. Same thing with fasting. When you fast and you start getting angry at everybody, you are wounding your fasting up. Here in this case we say, hold up, hold up, stop it, calm down. Relax. Say, "A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim Say, "I seek refuge with Allah from the from the devil, the devil, the shaytan." Okay. Now, if this is a problem, then there must be a solution. The solution is to follow the tools of the Prophet والسلام, The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, Muhammad. He gave us tools. He gave us ways to deal with anger, to manage anger. And one way is to say, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم I seek refuge with Allah from the devil. As soon as you get angry, when you see somebody coming to you and you know, like using bad language or saying that, you know, your wife is uh, so-and-so or your mother is so-and-so and you get really furious and you remember that time in 2006 World Cup when Zidane headbutted that person, you remember that because the man came to him and he said, your mom, your mom, your mom. But then you calm down and you remember, you remember Remember the Prophet ﷺ, what he said and what he prescribed us as a medication. When you are angry, if you're standing up, sit down. And if you're sitting down, lie down. When you're angry, if you're standing up and you're still angry, sit down. And if you're still angry when you're sitting down, lie down. This was stated by the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him. It is one effective way to deal with anger. Deal with it. Deal with anger. Don't escape from it. If you are angry, you can let the people know that you're angry. It's okay. You have to acknowledge your anger and you have to tell yourself, okay, now, I, now I'm angry. What should I do? And you say, A'udhu Billah min shaitan rajim and you follow the path of the Prophet alayhi salatu salam and those tools that he shared with us. This way you will be on the safe side and your fasting will not get wounded. It will be, in fact, it will be like really clear and clean and it will be something accepted from the Almighty Allah Azza wa in full. You want it fully accepted from Allah, then manage your anger and be straight with Allah. The Prophet ﷺ also said, the strong person isn't that person who is able to wrestle everybody. The strong person is that person who is able to manage his anger during the difficult times. During the difficult times, he is able to manage his anger. He is able to hold it in and not release it. He holds it in in a positive way, not a neg negative way, not denying that he's angry. You know that you're angry and you hold it in and you release it positively in a smooth way, possibly with a smile or something. This way, you are the strong person. You are that person who is strong. And listen to what else the Prophet ﷺ said. He, there is a hadith that says, and this hadith is authentic, it is true. He said, Man lillah. He who holds, he holds the anger inside. He held it inside and didn't release it. While he was able to release it, Allah Azza wa Jal will call him on the day of resurrection and he will allow him to choose which wife he wants from the Hur al -Ain. He gets to choose. Do you want that one or do you want that one? Do you want that one? Or that, oh, that one looks nice. All right, it's all yours. What? By managing 
your anger. I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to allow our Ramadan to be accepted and to allow our fasting Qiyam al to be accepted and to allow us to manage our anger. Thank you very much. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Donate now. Go to www.thedailyreminder.org slash donate and stay updated by joining our network's social links.